love plants but fear they will attract mosquitoes here is what you can do This video has been possible because of Camly. It's an app that can help you improve your communication skills and fluency in English. Now, if that sounds strange to you that why would we collaborate with an app like that? I have something fun to share with you. Hang on, I will talk about it later in the video. All right, about a mosquito problem, the first and the foremost important thing is to identify what is attracting them. There are two things in plants that attract mosquitoes. Number 1, nectar. Mosquitoes come mostly to all kinds of flowers to feed on the juice aka the nectar. But there are a couple of flowering plants that repel them as well like marigold or ganda. This plant has a unique chemical substance in it called pyrethrum whose unique aroma shoes away the mosquitoes. This one also emits volatiles like thiophene. Now if you're a little confused what is volatile what I'm talking about volatile are chemicals that can be emitted and they diffuse into the air. So plants like marigolds emit thiophene which is a volatile which discourages the growth of various kinds of mosquitoes. For example anophilis which is responsible for yellow fever and also Aedes mosquito which is responsible for malaria. So all that you have to do is place a couple of marigolds potted marigolds around the entry points like windows, gates or balcony area. Added bonus it is a great attractor for various kinds of pollinators which are great for your vegetable garden. Another plant which is great at repelling mosquitoes is tulsi or any kind of basil. Holy basil is tulsi, but also the fancy basils like Thai basil are great repellent. Now there is a chemical in basil which is called as tarragon. This one is also a volatile, and I'm pretty sure you must have smelled it. It is this substance which is responsible for that prominent smell of tulsi or any kind of basil that you might have smelled. Again, a great mosquito repellent. Now, apart from these plants, there are also a couple of plants which you rub on your skin and the oil that comes out when you crush them is insect repellent, mosquito repellent. For example, mint. The menth, the menth part of mint is also something that repels mosquitoes. So, if you crush a mint and you rub it against your skin, it is a natural mosquito repellent. All species of mint, both wild and cultivated, contain aromatic properties that are repulsive. The second set of plant which is also mosquito repellent because of its oil is lemongrass. In fact, any plant that has that lemony smell to it is a great mosquito repellent. Interestingly, the first time I got to know about these brilliant properties of plants was on field when I was doing my field work in Mudumalai Tiger Reserve, Tamil Nadu. Thanks to the tribals who helped me navigate through the forest, they also introduced me to these great properties of plants. And this reminds me of that fun thing that I wanted to share with you. So when I was in Tamil Nadu doing my field work, I had no idea how to speak Tamil. And a similar problem I faced when I was visiting France for some lab work and likewise in Japan as well. But to my rescue, I always had English. Now, I don't belong to a family where English is very commonly spoken. We are very comfortable speaking a mother language, a mother tongue, which is Hindi. But thanks to the school I was sent in and the confidence that I had, it helped me to pick up English. And vocabulary was something that I worked on by reading books, watching movies. But now, thanks to an app like Cambly, it provides one-on-one -on -one English speaking practice with people from native English speaking countries. It has made learning English easier and affordable. They're offering 32% discount for Gardener viewers for three months subscription. The first time I got to know about them, I was very excited to collaborate with them because they have tutors available 24 seven. So which basically means that whenever you want to practice your English, you can just call them up and practice as per your convenience. Hi, Samantha, how are you? <laughs> I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing good too. Nice, okay, I'm glad. <laughs> um, what is your name? My name is Ekta. And where are you from? I'm from India, Mumbai. I'm from South Africa. It's quite hot here at the moment. Alright, so moving back to a mosquito problem. 
the second reason that causes or attracts mosquitoes is stagnant water, which is common because of indoor plants. So now what do you do? The first thing you can do is to cover up that soil. Hide the wet soil using stones, pebbles or anything similar. Second and the easier way to follow is to choose plants that like drier soil, like snake plant, succulents, money plant. Third, do not allow any kind of stagnation of water around your pot. Always empty those drainage plates. Do not unnecessarily water your plant. A lot of time this happens that we tend to over care for our plants. We over water them. So do not water your plant unnecessarily. Otherwise that soil will remain wet and it will attract mosquitoes. Apart from mosquitoes, what are those other insects that trouble you because of the plants? I know for example, millibugs are a huge, huge problem. I've talked about them in detail in a video. A link is going to be up here somewhere. You can check out that link. Also, let me know what are the other insects that you're troubled with. I will try and address them in the next video. Thanks for watching.